Hey guys, it's the Solo Coffee and today in Solo's Monster Legends Analysis video, we're going to be going over Grateful Ted, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get him out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and do right into it. Alright, so Grateful Ted is a tank, and he does actually have a Megaton as a trait, which is very, very good. And not only that, but he also has Tough, Taunt, and Control Immunity, which Control Immunity is great as well. So yeah, some really good traits on this monster. And then his relics are Shield and Armor, which are also very good for a tank. And he also has some pretty good stats as well. So yeah, if you were going to get this monster, definitely try to get him to rank 3 to get that Megaton. And if we go down to his pros and cons, he's got great sustainability, which is of course great for a tank. He has access to team self-shields and damage reduction, which are great. He also has decent healing skills. He's got a great trait and status caster. He's got great two Megaton setups, which are really good. So once your Megaton runs out, you can go and set it up again. He also has access to control immunity, which is very good. He's got great elements. He has low stamina costs and cooldowns on most skills, which is of course really great. And his only cons are moderate high stamina costs and cooldowns on best skills, which is kind of a problem. And Megaton and Taunt can easily be ignored by Pierce and Cold Blood, which is very true. So if we go on down to his moves he has an aoe major damage reduction which is really good he's got shields for team 30 percent which is really good and that is a zero cooldown and the damage reduction one by the way only has a one cooldown which is great he also has a team 40 percent shield with a self 30 percent shield with two cooldown which is pretty good he also has an aoe 30 fire damage with a major damage reduction and self 50 percent shield and then he has a team at 30 percent shield with a self megaton which is really good so yeah that is his unranked move set and he's got some pretty great moves and then once you rank him up you can go ahead and get self-control immunity with a 40 percent heal which is pretty good and a self 25 percent heal with megaton and a 50 percent damage mirror which that move is very very good that is probably his best move so yeah definitely go and try to rank him up to get that move as well not just to get megaton and control immunity so yeah he's got some really great tanky moves he can stay alive really easily he's got heals which are great and shield shield can keep him from getting hurt and he also has that damage mirror which can help a lot so yeah overall just really really good tank definitely worth getting try to rank him up if you can because that will make him much much better when he's at rank zero he's not nearly as good as at rank three and then of course rank five just adds a whole nother layer so yeah definitely worth getting very very good tank try to rank him up and i see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye